How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to a long-awaited Grand Theft Auto video. Now before we get started with the video, uh, I just want to say it's been a while and I apologize for that. These periodic uh, release video releases that I've been doing every two weeks or so, I, I, I really am sorry for that. I need to get my act together, which I will be doing soon of course, and hopefully uh, now is the time for me just to get my stuff together and get back on track. As I'm 17 years old, I'm just busy with high school. But I'm also just out living life. You know, these are the golden years, they say. High school is the best time of your life. And I'm trying to live those moments to the fullest. And I do apologize for all for the for the lack and the inconsistency of my upload schedule. Excuse me there. But um, yeah, I just need better time management. With all those excuses out of the way, though, I'm not going to say any more and go any further on that. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. So today we're going to be going over, covering, talking about, and comparing Grove Street from San Andreas to Grove Street and Grand Theft Auto 5. Now what brought this about and hopefully I can throw in a little mini series uh, together over the next five days as on October 26th Grand Theft Auto San Andreas will be 10 years old. It'll be celebrating its 10 year anniversary which I think is crazy and um, I, I want you guys to let me know. I took to Twitter the other day uh, about this and if you guys aren't following me on Twitter you should go do so by uh, follow me, the link is down in the description, but I, I went to Twitter and I asked what were some of your guys' favorite moments from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? What did you guys like most about that game? And believe it or not, Rockstar Games, the uh, creators of the Grand Theft Auto games, actually followed me on Twitter and I got a ton of replies, which I'll use some in a video that I will do tomorrow, possibly. Uh, but I want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments as well, for those of you who didn't see uh, me ask that on Twitter. What were some of your guys' favorite moments with San Andreas? But, of course, in this video, getting off topic, we're going to be talking about and comparing San Andreas from, or, or Grove Street, excuse me, from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to Grove Street and GTA 5. Now, from those two games... It, the, the overall city and landscape has changed drastically, and that has to do with the different universes. Um, and I'm not going to explain on that. You guys can look into that further on if you want to. I've done it so many other times, but uh, with the different universes, the layout of Los Santos has changed completely from GTA San Andreas to GTA 5. Now, Grove Street has been affected, but not to the extent, of course, that Los Santos and the whole map has been. Uh, from the two games. Now, in San Andreas, I'm going to try and line this up side by side. Um, there's the cul-de-sac, this notorious cul-de-sac for... And it has no really significance in GTA 5 as it did to San Andreas, where it was the home to CJ Carl Johnson uh, and his brothers and his crew, the main characters uh, and supporting characters in San Andreas. And Grove Street is just one of those synonymous landmarks with... Um, or one of those landmarks synonymous to any Grand Theft Auto fanatic out there uh, who knows anything about the GTA series. This cul-de-sac, if you don't know what a cul-de-sac is, it's that, uh, I don't know how to explain it, other than that rounded off um, road area that's surrounded by houses. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys can see uh, with Grove Street, that's what a cul-de-sac is. And in GTA 5 compared to San Andreas, CJ's house is not there, of course. As I said, that has to do with the different universes. None of the houses really are there. However, there is a garage with an empty lot or a smaller house next to it, which does resemble that of CJ's, as you guys can see, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm guessing Rockstar may have just left that there to uh, leave players to recognize that, oh, this is Grove Street, of course. But when I first saw before GTA 5 was released this cul-de-sac, I knew instantly that it had to be Grove Street. And believe it or not, the first ever GTA 5 video I uploaded was back in July 2013. And I talked about how there has to be some sort of Grove Street Easter egg implemented into GTA 5 because this landmark is just, like I said, so synonymous with the Grand Theft Auto series and San Andreas and with GTA 5 taking place in Los Santos. It wouldn't be uh, overall complete without Grove Street. So uh, that's really about it. I think it's just so cool. And like I said, this is a, a kind of mini series that I'm doing over the next five days to celebrate 10 years, 10 amazing long years of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, of course, down in the comments, you guys let me know what do you think of San Andreas? Was it your favorite GTA of all time? Or what did you like most about it compared to any of the other Grand Theft Autos that have been released since or before? So, very eager to read through all those comments. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. That is very much appreciated. Uh, and if you could, please subscribe as we are on the road to 100,000. And with all that out of the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy. Have a safe one. 
and I will talk to you later. Bye.